table and this is my first ever Kentucky Derby party. I don't know about you, but I love any excuse to drink some bourbon, wear a fabulous hat, and look at some gorgeous horses. I, of course, am a lifelong horse lover and owner of two beautiful horses. Today, though, they are not here as we are in my own backyard, which is my favorite place to entertain. And I'm cooking up some southern treats for you. We're gonna pour some juleps and then we'll be off to the races. My garden set the atmosphere for me, but I did set up my rose wall originally used in my Alice in Wonderland party. I swapped my Alice flowers out for the red rose garlands that I hung up at my Beauty and the Beast party for that beautiful red rose backdrop to my Kentucky Derby party. I set up my six foot long card table in the back corner of my garden and pulled my indoor dining chairs outdoors to make it a little more polished and sleek. And then I let the red roses shine. When I think Kentucky Derby party, I think red roses. So of course I had to have a ton of those. Now the silver, I wanna point out, these are actually real trophies won by my dressage trainers at Black Star Sport Horses, which I thought was such a fun thing since I am a horse person. You can of course recreate the look with any fabulous silver centerpieces that you find. Silver I think is just so perfect for the mint julep glasses. To me, I just think silver, red roses, it's perfect Kentucky Derby look. For the place settings, I used my Emma plates with red rose napkin rings, a simple white lace napkin, and my brand new mint julep cups. I of course served mint juleps as the official drink at my Kentucky Derby party. It would not be the Kentucky Derby without a mint julep. This is basically just sweetened bourbon. I used a homemade mint simple syrup to sweeten my mint julep, and I actually chose to make up a whole pitcher of it because it's a one to four ratio. So super simple to make a pitcher of, and that way you're not having to measure out the ingredients for every individual glass. All you need is some finely crushed ice, a couple of sprigs of mint, and you are good to go. I didn't want anything too heavy or too filling for the first course, so I started off easy with some bacon and chive deviled eggs. These were so good, super creamy. The filling has a Greek yogurt actually, so they're a little bit healthier than your normal deviled egg with champagne vinegar and some Dijon mustard. And then of course you've got that nice crunch from super crispy applewood smoked bacon and a little hint of chive from the garden on top. Mm. Okay, the most in. delicious devil, deviled egg I've ever had. I agree. Ah, I agree. Nice. And I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> For the main course, I served a truly southern dish, chicken and waffles. These are my homemade chicken tenders on a pile of pimento cheese on top of a homemade yeast Belgian waffle smothered in bourbon maple syrup with a sprinkling of chives from the garden. This is so good. Now, I did not think that maple syrup was going to work with pimento cheese, but just trust me, the first time I took a bite of this, I was absolutely transported. It is so delicious. I'm going to show you a little bit of how it's done. Walk and talk. Walk and do a walk and talk. I am so I'm excited about these waffles. So one fun thing, I make Belgian waffles, I mean, easily once or twice a month. And chicken tenders, I have actually been making these organic chicken tenders for, oh gosh, I don't know, since I was in my first apartment, I guess. Um, but we're going to make them for the first time on the rose table right now. So the key to making homemade chicken tenders is to have your station set up ahead of time. So I like to set it up just like this, where you're going to take your wet ingredients, your chicken tenders, you're gonna shake off the excess, you're gonna dredge it in some seasoned flour, then put it in some beaten egg, and then finally some panko breadcrumbs, and then toss it in the hot oil. I put my friend Candy on waffle duty while I was manning the chicken tenders. This batter is super easy to mix up the morning of your party. And of course, for all of the full recipes, you can go to therosetable.com. So for our main course, I went super, super Southern. So we have a delicious overnight yeast Belgian waffle topped with pimento cheese, my homemade organic chicken tenders, and a bourbon maple syrup. So Yay. let's yes. do this. Yay. Game on. The chicken tenders are nice and crunchy. You've got the creaminess of the pimento cheese, the nice fluffy waffle, and then the warm maple syrup. It's amazing. I mean, come on. I need a minute. Just about compliment. This is my first time to have chicken and waffles. What? what? The syrup smells so incredible that we actually all leaned over the stove to get a good whiff. I swear this should be a candle. I would light it every night. No. I never had it is so good. cheese before. I just know mm. I can smell it so That's good. amazing. So for dessert, we have a mint julep brownie explosion. This is a mint bourbon brownie, dark chocolate, of course, I only ever do dark chocolate, with a bourbon whipped cream and a peppermint hot fudge sauce. So enjoy. 
The brownies themselves have both bourbon and mint in the batter, and then I use a biscuit cutter to cut them into rounds, and then pipe the whipped cream on top, which I think turns a simple brownie into such an elegant dinner party dessert. Then I added a mint spray garnish, just like a julep, and a drizzle of my homemade peppermint hot fudge sauce, which actually keeps for weeks and is fantastic over ice cream. So Candy, I'm so excited that you were able to come to the Kentucky Derby party because you are my biggest bourbon I friend. I you am. and I were bourbon girls. We are. The Kentucky Derby is is after my own heart. I love everything Kentucky Derby related. I love I love a deviled egg. You know, I'm a connoisseur. Mm -hmm. And I truly, truly, these were the best deviled eggs I've ever had. And I, it's such a classic menu item. It's so easy. It's easy to prepare ahead. I think everybody was fighting over them. So if you don't make this recipe, <laughs> I mean, you're missing out. I've never had a mint julep before, but I'm a sucker for bourbon. What? Oh, now no. you've had seven. I've had seven. <laughs> no! Six! I'm working on my seven. <laughs> um, no, it's it's really good. I mean, it's it's sweetened bourbon. Mm -hmm. And it's, I would, it's say it's, I would say it's southern drink. dangerous. Mm -hmm. but <laughs> and I, I like that you tied the bourbon throughout the entire meal, the drink, the dinner, the dessert. Mm -hmm. It was a nice, a nice theme throughout. It was just perfection. Gosh, dinner was... Phenomenal! Just yes. I, I didn't expect the the mixture of the the pimento cheese and yes. the syrup and all of that to kind of really blend well together. It was my first time to have chicken and waffles, and it was mouth watering, and I cleaned my my entire plate. I think <laughs> I made soup. Yes. <laughs> With the amount of I did like <laughs> three boomerangs, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love the um, the crispiness of the chicken. Ooh, so good, mm -hmm. so good. I'm a sucker for the dessert though, so I have a little bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been all about this brownie. I couldn't even wait to serve it because I've just been so in love. I'm glad I got to test this again. Um, so I got triple. <laughs> Irene's my official taste tester, pretty much. Um, we live like 10 minutes apart, so I'm always calling her and I'm like, come test this for me. Great. <laughs> We've had better weather. No, it's literally no. perfect outside. So I really like the atmosphere, like the garden and like the fireplace in the back. It's a really nice touch. So cheers, uh, cheers yes. to the horses then. To the Off to the races. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for having us. Thank you.